Welcome back, everybody. This is episode 191 of the Road Top Series. I'm Toasty FM, and technically, it's like 192. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, if you don't, you should. Um, I tweeted out that there was an issue, an issue with episode 191. Um, for whatever reason, um, after I recorded it, I went to edit it, and um, my recording slash editing program um, failed, so, gone, gone was, uh, episode 191, or what was going to be episode 191, um, was kaput, poof, gone, somewhere in the, you know, in my laptop is some corrupted file somewhere, but, um, yeah, it's gone, really unfortunate, um, because it was really a good episode. So it's actually been a long time, technically, since our last episode. So technically, 190, we lost... Uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No. We lost to Real Madrid here. 3-0. Uh, a couple of good draws against quality teams, Casapia. A way... I mean, a, get, win, a draw at home against Befica. A draw against Casapia. Um... There, they're one of the top teams in the league, so fair play to them. Got a win uh, against uh, Real Madrid, which is excellent, which is a great result. Um, shows that we can play against these against these top teams. Uh, seeing finally so we got a win on a complete run of just real quality. So, oh no, actually, no, no, we played Monaco in a game somewhere in there. I think we played Monaco. Got the victory there. God, I'm, this whole missing an episode thing, this whole lost episode thing is really messing up. What the hell happened last episode? Uh, so we beat Monaco 1-0 via Lagman, which is great. And then we came up against Hearts on the last day. Bram Hendricks with the goal. Aguirre with the second, put it away. Aguirre got a goal and an assist. Uh, got his first start in a while. Oh, not his first start in a while, but got the start there. Udholt had been starting. Um... Around before that, uh, due to him just asking for it and Aguirre not really playing that great, so I had I had a little bit of uh, of uh, of managerial genius said, hey, let's bring well not genius. I mean Aguirre is one of our top scorers all time, but brought him back, let him play, and he, and he played really well for me um, there. And then we went on, we continued our run uh, against Shav, Shamil Song three nil, uh, Bill Nance three nil. Uh, Mafra 2-0, but then went to Mafra, and a really bad result. Um, some some rotation, but for the team, the players who we had, we had, should not have lost this game. Um, you know, the team we have out there was not lacking in talent whatsoever. It was just, we just didn't show up. And it's the first time in a long time, but it's a, but it, it's, it's going to affect us. With that, I mean, let's look at the let's look at the league and, and all that stuff. Um, with that, we are probably knocked out of um, uh, of the Tas League. It's not important, so it's not really care, but it's it's a competition that we should be doing well in. Um, so basically, we'd have to we're gonna have to hope that um, Vizela takes down Mafra and we have to beat Casapia by a lot of goals. I don't, I don't even with that, I don't think it's gonna matter. Um, because of, because they have the head-to-head -head record. Um, last time I checked, I thought that, I thought that was what, what was more important than goal differential, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, I mean, the, the, the game didn't tell me that I was knocked out, so technically I'll, I'll hold a little bit of hope that we can maybe get back into it, but it's likely that we're out of it, so. Um, if you're a big Tasa Liga fan, it's not gonna happen first this year. But, uh, anyway... Yeah, so we have um, Spartan today, who are in fifth place. Um, the story going on the season was that Spartan and Porto were having bad seasons, I would say. Um, they were somewhere upper mid table. Um, I think Sporting were somewhere here ninth, eighth, eighth or ninth. Porto was here like sixth, I want to say, just a matter of weeks ago. So they they've definitely come up and be, and gotten better recently. Um, but again, it's Sporting, they're going to have a quality team, it's going to be on us to go out there and, and show them what we have, and show them that we, uh, you know, that we do deserve to top the table, 
Uh, Benfica has a game in hand. Uh, if they get three points there, um, it would be five point difference. If we lose today and they get another three points, it could be a two point difference. So I mean, it looks like eight points right now, but that could quickly change um, depending on our, our on our results um, now um, and in, in the next month or so. Um, with the well, I mean, if we're out of the Tasa League, it's going to help us out a little bit, but uh, still, it's going to be very difficult. Um, you know, trying to get pulled away a little bit from Mefica, but they're a very good team this season, and um, it's not going to be that easy. So, um, other than that, there's not really much to talk about. Transfers um, haven't been had much to do. Um, we've got one player in, one player out, I believe. Uh, Walid Benali uh, is an attacking midfielder um, from Casablanca, who's a very good player. Uh, he's likely going to be loaned out. We have some quality number 10s the team right now. Uh, with LEL and Lises, uh, so he'll be probably going out on loan uh, for the year. Um, and out, um, Ad Nilsson uh, Varela will be going to Liverpool. Um, Four hundred thousand was just too good of an offer for a. He was, I think, he was seventeen years old at the time. Uh, very good, um, you know, a potential, but it, it, it's far time. It's it's long time away. Um, and we have another player in there, um, who plays that attacking, uh, position, who plays that right wing, um, where is he, um, Konstantin, who I think actually might be a better player overall, and, uh, he's, you know, he's only 16, he has a lot of place to improve, so I don't think we'll need both of them, and 400,000, I think the, I think the, we get 40% of the profit on Adam Nilsson Fidella too, so, if he sold on later on, it's going to be a big help to us. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of what happened so far. But the most important thing today is the game against Sporting. Let's go out there and let's do where we are um, at Stav Yuzhuzel Vlad. Uh, so it's going to be tough uh, going there and trying to get a result, but I think we can do it. All right, guys. So we have uh, a different formation today. We are playing a 4 3 3, a 4 one four one it's a it's a thing four one two two one whatever we are playing this formation um for a couple well let's just look at it. we have a lot of injuries so before you look at the team uh eliel's out vea's out lisas is out that's both our that's both our number tens uh right back out uh, pedro almeida um that's pretty much it anyway lots of injuries uh and our burgos is out so Ramo Harris will go well, first of all, Cleveland Boston goal. Ramo Harris on the right hand side, where he can play. He's a center back, but we'll figure it out. Um, so he'll be playing with uh, Torre Demison. I think the first time they've all three played together. Uh, Flavio Marcelo on the left. Uh, Hendricks will be playing at as a defensive midfielder, where he can play. Uh, Morena is going into an attacking playmaker style. I'm um, actually might uh, I'll leave him like there. Um, Bodeme is going to come in as central midfielder, so this is the first time all three of them are playing together. Um, Becker's back in there, along with Lagman and Uholt up top. Um, Uholt's having a great little run here, so he will be playing ahead of Aguide, uh, in today's game. Um, so definitely not the way I would like to go into a big game like this with, um, you know, a few... Injury issues, uh, but it happens. It, it, it's a part of the game, um, so we have to, you know, go through it. Um, you know, the, the biggest issue is probably missing a couple players, missing both, uh, you know, both attacking midfielders. Elise has been playing well in, in LEL's absence. Um, having uh, Burgos out, and Burgos has been... Uh, really good all season. Um, Becker really hasn't gotten a sniff of the first team uh, at all this season. You know, despite him being, you know, you know, a uh, like a fans player this season multiple times for us. The fact that he has not uh, been able to get into this team is really interesting. And we are having a terrible job holding possession today. That's with three uh, basically central midfielders. Um, which is quite incredible. Um, 
But hopefully, but doesn't, I'm not sure if that's a good thing for them, but we'll see. Uh, we have a highlight here, Lagman. Uh, can he find somebody, or is he going to go by himself? Uh, went by himself, uh, not exactly what I would want him to do, especially on his weaker foot. Uh, not that type of player, I don't think. Um, you know, we play out now wingers, we don't play a lot of inside forwards. And, uh, and Lagman cut inside, and, and just wasn't able to get... Uh, the proper shot, the proper contact to really trouble um, the Sporting goalkeeper, whose name um, I do not know. Uh, I was hoping it would show up. Uh, they still got Bitek, I believe. Uh, actually, let's... Uh, Sporting body language. Uh, Dube. Uh, yeah, Bitek still in there. Uh, Lincoln, Lazar. Um, a few players that I have uh, a little bit of knowledge on. Um... Obviously, I've kept up a little bit more with the uh, with the likes of a of a Benfica because I am a Benfica fan, um, and they have some players I do recognize still around. Three uh Ruben Diaz are still in there. Uh, I think believe Luis Pinheiro, uh, which is young right back, was still in there or in there around there until recently. Um, they seem composed. They seem like they're uh, doing fine. Uh, their formation hasn't changed. Uh, highlight here. Hendricks falls to him. Can we counterattack here? Becker. Can he come up with a little bit of magic? Um, Bodeme. Lagman. Lagman loses the ball. Not really well at all. Uh, B. Dick. Um, Lincoln here. Continental and the shot goes very much wide. Uh, going a little bit lethargic on the commentary today. I just realized. Got to express a little bit more oh my god it's the end of the world it's that we're playing a fight so far um uh, we've definitely come back into the game as far as possession goes um becker uh, would hold down a great game up top um i think I'm trying to think of what we can do as far as the formation goes um, I'm thinking of making a. I can't really make a double switch. Uh, I'd bring a Gide on. I, I'm not going to risk. I'm going to bring a Gide on at striker. Um, give maybe Becker um, and a Gide some time to. Maybe they'll link up and show some form from last year. Um, so I'm going to give Becker a little bit more time. Um, but then maybe I might bring on uh, Jean Souza and uh, put him up top and maybe put Gide on the right. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, overall we've played pretty well. Um, I'm not really disappointed uh, with the team's performance today, I would say. Um, actually, I actually think we could definitely, we're in a, in a spot where we can win the game. I'm actually going to put my wingers on attack here. Uh, put a Gide on a complete forward. Hopefully that may help us out a little bit. Um, bring it a little bit deeper. There's not... It's not the type of players I want in there. Let's... Mm -hmm, let's go like this. Uh, I think we're definitely going for it. What am I, how am I doing? Uh, Hendricks in there. Ball wing midfielder. A box to box. And then Bodeme deep line playmaker. Um, get these midfielders deep. Uh, hopefully, that'll be the change to go with. Um, Ugol Salve, which is basically our third string uh, attacking midfielder. Um, I, I thought about playing our new signing, but it just, it just seemed like a bad idea to play a guy that really hasn't played for us. Just joined us about a month ago uh, to play likes of Sporting at Sporting. Um... It kind of looks like Sporting have shut up shop a little bit. Um, not really shut up shop, but it's been a very boring game, and, and the players just seem like both of the both teams are kind of fine with a draw, um, which is a tad bit disappointing. Um, a very not I wouldn't say Liverpool uh, United esque, but. I don't think either team really tried that hard to win, and it kind of shows with the performance. 
uh, nil nil draw. I'm a little bit disappointed with the with the with the type of play the players had. Uh, they didn't seem like, and, and it also goes about you know the way we 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 set up. You know, three midfielders. It was all. I'm. I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say that I was going really for, going for it too until I made the last substitution later on. But it is what it is. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said, uh, a really vanilla performance by both teams. It wasn't that exciting. I thought it might be a little bit exciting. Uh, no, no draw, and that's not just how it ended up. That's. I mean, that is exactly how it ended up. That really made no sense by me. Uh, but anyway, that's that's it. That's it. I'm sorry for you guys. I know. Um, and hopefully, I'm I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that when I pull when I get out of this, when I stop recording, that I can edit it, it edit it. Um. So uh, pray for me, guys. But uh, but yeah, guys, we're probably gonna come back against Porto. Um, in uh, in the next episode, probably tomorrow, actually. Um, God, we're playing so well. We had a lot, a lot of clean sheets. Very good. Too. We're playing. We were playing very good. Oh, we still are playing pretty good. I mean, I think this result was bad, but this performance was eh. But we can get back to it. So, uh, it's Porto, Porto. Tomorrow's episode. Uh, they're third in the table, um, and we're gonna have to play pretty well against them uh, to make sure this does become a three-horse race. Uh, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Come back tomorrow for more and to carry yourselves.